Today on Down Under EV Adventures, just how fast can you drive an Atto 3 in reverse? Welcome back to Down Under EV Adventures. Well, we've got something a little bit different for you today. I was watching a TV show a few days ago, and in the show there was somebody reversing their car to get away from the bad guy. And it just got me thinking, I wonder how quick you could reverse the Atto 3, and would it be fast enough to get away from somebody who's going to, going to get you? Well, uh, it was a bit of a cold, rainy day here in Kalgoorlie today, and I finished work, and I thought, oh, why not go and check it out? So I took the trailer off, went out to my favourite bit of deserted road, and tried it out. So, without further ado, let's get into testing out the Atto 3. Alright, 3, 2, 1... And after a good takeoff, it's just around 26, 27. So, pretty disappointing. Wet old afternoon here. Let's try one more time. I just had to take the drone in because it's getting too wet. It looks like 26, 27 is about the fastest. And there you go. That's top speed. That's foot flat to the floor in sport. So, pretty underwhelming, I would have to say. And I will turn around and try it the other way in the interests of science. The rain is getting heavier and heavier here. Alright, three, two, one. So again a nice acceleration and no, nah, it's topped out at 26, 27, so there you have it. Pretty ordinary in reverse, I and mean, you can probably outrun a human if you needed to, but uh, you're not going to win any races, that's for sure. Right, so we're going to head home now after that test, and I'll put that all together for you. You can have a look what it looks like, but pretty ordinary really. <laughs> Well, one good thing about this rain is my car's getting a good clean and that's always good because I don't really have much time to clean my car these days. So there you have it, the reversing the Atto 3. It's not going to go that fast, only about 26, 27 kilometres an hour, which I guess if somebody's chasing after you with an axe or something, well, it might be enough for you to get away. It probably would be. Coming up next, we've got a winter tow test. So it's winter down here in Australia. Um, such that it is. I know some parts of the world would laugh at our winter down here. They'd love to get it. But nevertheless, I'm going to do a towing test anyway and see if it affects the towing range of my trailer because, you know, I pretty much drive constantly with a trailer. So let's have a look at that next. Okay, that's it for today. Take care out there on the roads as usual and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now.